Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove this rock protection film that GM puts on the C7 Corvette. This film over time collects a lot of the, the road dirt, it discolors, it really looks horrible. My car didn't come with skirts on it, so I added these skirts. So I'm at the point now where I can remove this rock protection because the skirts do the job that this film was doing. So I have a heat gun. I'm going to show you how to remove this. Um, I'm not sure yet on the temperature we're going to use, but as I do this, I'll let you know what that is. And of course you can do this with any other car. This is pretty thick. This, um, this protection that's on here, I would guess this is probably around, I don't know, six mil, maybe eight mil. It's pretty thick. Let's get started. So here's a close-up, and you can see how horrible this looks, and it travels all the way down to that point, about a third of the way to the door. So now we're going to remove this. I have a DeWalt heat gun here, and it has a temperature on the top, and then up and down temperature gauge. So I'm going to start with 700 degrees. And then you have different speeds, fan speeds. You start to warm up. Never allow the gun to sit in one spot. If you do that, you're going to burn the paint. Yeah, this is pretty hot. And I guess you want to be about six or eight inches away and keep it moving. Not hot enough yet. We're just basically trying to get an edge started so we can start pulling it off. There we go. So I have the gun set to 700 degrees Fahrenheit, presently, right now. And the surface is, I still can touch the surface, it's warm, it's not very hot. There we go, it's starting to pull off. And you just keep heating it and keep working the area. I'm going to be happy to get rid of this. It's not exactly the nicest stuff to look at. You can see there's a glue residue that's staying there. I have some cleaner for that, which I'm going to show you what to use. So far, I'm doing this about five minutes, so you can see how fast this works. As long as you have the right tools, right? Everything's about the tools. Now you don't want to use anything metal. We do have some plastic scrapers out there. If you wanted to, you can get that. I'm not using anything except for my hands. You can always tell when you get to an area where it's not hot because you get a lot of resistance, so you just heat the area, and then you just keep going. You pull more, see? And don't worry, as long as you're not holding the heat gun in one spot to where it's going to really heat up the paint, um, you shouldn't worry about pulling the paint off. You don't want to keep your fingers in front of the heat gun. It's a good way to burn your hand. And I'm controlling the amount of heat it's getting basically by how close I keep the heat gun to the surface. No. All right. Now this nozzle is hot. So you don't want to lay it down on a carpet 
or anything plastic in your garage, make sure that you put it so it stands up like so. If you lay it down behind you and you forget about it, a fire could start or melt a piece of plastic or something. It has its own footing on this unit, so you just put it on the floor like that. Okay, so we have here now all this glue that's on here, and I have a fix for this. And I'm going to get that now. And then you want to get a microfiber towel, which I'm going to get right now. And by the way, to remove, to remove this panel right here took me about 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes. That's how fast it goes. Probably removing this uh, glue is going to take longer. But let's see. So I have this product here, and it's called Rapid Remover. It's for adhesives to remove any type of adhesives or glues. It's perfect for this. I also use this product to remove any type of road grease from my car. This stuff is amazing. However, do not spill this stuff in your car by accident. You will never ever get rid of the smell. I had done that. I put it in my trunk. It spilled and in my BMW, I could not get rid of the smell. It's really horrible. It's a fabulous product, but it has its drawbacks if you screw up. Okay, so I'm just going to put it on here. So this stuff, the way it works is the longer you leave it on here, the longer it's going to work. So what I like to do is I like to check the area. Like some areas here I have a lot, other areas it starts to come off pretty quickly. And of course, you're going to have to wash your hands afterwards because you really don't, don't want this stuff sitting on your hands for long. So you kind of want to watch so it's starting to work already, how it's coming off. And just leave it on there and just keep testing the area until it's time to start wiping it off. You might have to do it a couple of times. It's on there about two minutes now. Yeah, it's coming off. So I'm just going to give it another application. Lightly spray the area. You don't want to spray this stuff on the car and walk away and then forget about it. If you're applying this product, you want to stay with the car and you want to supervise what's happening as the product is working. And as it works, it starts to remove the adhesive. So I highly recommend you just stick with the car and finish the project. You could get distracted, phone could ring, get on the phone, and then you're gonna have a big problem with your paint uh, if you forget it and stays on there for an extended amount of time. If you're planning this and you watch my video before you actually do this project, I would get a um, plastic scraper. This way you could use it right now and start to scrape this product off and not do any damage to your paint. But don't use anything metal, don't use razor blades, don't use anything that could scratch your paint and be sorry. So the glue will take more time than removing the actual plastic and many coats. Because the glue spreads around. It's really, um, it's a slow process. But I'd rather go slow and get it done right than have any damage to my paint. This is almost complete. Just a couple of spots here. Make sure you wash these right after you finish. Throw them in your machine, get them washed. You don't want this chemical sitting on it, on the towels. Feel it with your hand, make sure you get all the adhesive off. Don't put any wax on until the adhesive is off. And before you put wax on, you gotta hit this with some regular water. Looks good. It's nice and clean. 
I'm just going to take some water. And that's what this is, just plain water. And I'm going to just spray this down. Just to wash the chemical, neutralize the chemical so it doesn't keep being activated. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is get another rag. Need lots of rags for the wax. And I'm going to apply the wax. I use the uh, the Adams detail spray is what I use. I love this stuff. It does an amazing job. And of course I'm going to go over and beyond the area that I worked on. If you want, do your whole car. But this stuff is really some of the best stuff out there that I've used. Okay, it's beautiful. I'm just going to open the door. I'm just going to put a little wax on the inside because chemical obviously got into that door groove. Okay. You can see that removing that white panel or plastic from 3M that protects from rocks, they don't put it up in the front here. No problem there. It's the rocks that get kicked back to this panel over here. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, share my videos, give me a thumbs up, comment, ask questions, we'll respond, hit the bell so you know when we put new content up. Thanks for watching guys.